So you're still in the room. The VC is still asking questions. And then they ask you, what are the profit margins? What margins might you be when the companies scale? If you don't know the answer, stick with me and we'll do it right now. Ask Alex. Ask Alex. Because you don't know what you don't know. And if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. So what does investor mean? How much money are you losing right now? And I'm sure you are. There are many different profit margins, though. There isn't just one, okay? At Lazada, which was acquired by Alibaba, we had six main ones. We had GM123, PC123. That's ignoring all the EBITDA, net income, et cetera, margins and the like, okay? You want to explain the contributions to your losses at present, but how, when you scale, these will be divided over a larger fixed cost base, and that you have such large gross margins due to your small little cogs that the variable cost function is de minimis. Clearly, this is what a great software product is like, as opposed to other kinds of business models. Office is basically free for marginal customers. So set out what your customer cost fixed base looks like, and how it'll need to expand for it, as well as your variable costs. Link your growth to your marketing spend and how you get to payback. Now, it's fine to have negative profit margins at the earliest stage, but the top margins should get progressively better and then the lower PL ones sequentially. As you set out how your margins will prove over time, you need to have a story of what changes will happen in your company to facilitate that. So now what do you need to say? We're not profitable. We will not be profitable for three years. As we cover our fixed costs and investments and marketing growth will be high. But that's obvious, right? And that's why I'm here. But where things are starting to get very interesting in year three. We have a very large fixed base in order to develop a product, which mainly constitutes development costs. But as you know, Software has a marginal cost to customers, and we've developed an amazingly scalable and extensible architecture with minimal technical debt. At scale, our net margin should be a bit better than average with COGS of say around 15%, given the level of customer success that we do. But since we aren't focused on enterprise and leveraging a K factor, our distribution costs will be small. We envisage EBITDA margins in the range of 60 to 75% in year five. Boom. Drop mic. Psh. Anyway, if you want more, as usual, head over to alexanderjarvis.com.